Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about What you will learn today, convert fractions to decimals with terminating and non-terminating decimals. So we will be studying on how to convert fraction into decimals as you have seen on the figure. So there are two tracks wherein inside the tracks, there are fractions. Kapag kaya kinonvert natin yung mga given fractions na yon, you have... 2 fifths, 4 fifths, 2 thirds, 7 ninths, etc. Ang answer niya ba ay terminating decimals or non-terminating decimals? So, we will find out in our lesson today kung ano nga ba ang difference ng dalawa. Remember, we can convert fraction to decimal by simply dividing the numerator by the denominator. So, we will be having four examples for the terminating decimals and the non-terminating decimals. So, let's start with example 1. Convert 1 fourth or 1 over 4 to decimal form. Again, we need to convert 1 fourth to, four, to decimal form. As you have seen, Yung denominator na 4 ang magiging divisor kasi we need to divide at yung numerator na 1 ang magiging dividend. So therefore, that is 1 divided by 4. So kung mapapansin nyo, since cannot be, mag tayo ng decimal point at dalawang zeros. So, nagkaroon tayo ng 1, then you have the decimal point, then mag atay ng 2 zeros. Let's start. 1 divides 4 is 0. So, therefore, that is 0 point, kaya naman magiging 10. So, yung kasunod na 0 gagamitin natin. So, that will be 10 divides 4 is 2. Then, multiply 2 times 4 is 8. Then, we need to subtract. 10 minus 8 is 10 minus 8 is 2 Then we need to bring down 0 So we have now 20 Then 20 divides 4 is 5 Then 5 times 4 is 20 Then there is a 0 remainder So therefore 1 fourth converted into decimal form is 0 0.25. Ang ginawa natin, we just divide the numerator by the denominator. Let's have another example. Convert 3 fourths to decimal form. Again, same procedure. Ang 4 natin, which is our denominator, will be our divisor at yung ating numerator na 3 will be our dividend. So, nag ulit tayo ng dalawang zero, then decimal point, then dalawang zero because 3 divides 4 is cannot be. So, that is zero point, kaya naman magiging 30. So, 30 divides 4 is what? What is the quotient when we divide 30 by 4? 7. Then, multiply 7 times 4 is 28. Then, subtract. 30 minus 28 is 2. Then, we need to bring down the other 0. Then, divide. 20 divides by 4 is 5. Then, 5 times 4 is 20. Subtract. The remainder will be 0. Therefore, 3 fourths converted into decimal form is 0.75. So, fractions in example 1 and 2 produce terminating decimals because it contains a finite number of digits after the decimal point. 
So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ating answer ay merong finite number kasi ay nabibilang natin siya or nag-stop na doon since the remainder is zero. So, that's how we convert fractions to decimals wherein the decimal is terminating. Again, when you say terminating decimal, it contains finite number of digits after the decimal point. On the other hand, if it contains an infinite number of digits after the decimal point, the given fraction produces non-terminating decimals. Again, it is non-terminating decimals. After the decimal point, you have the infinite number. Or example, marami pa siyang kasunod na numbers doon sa ating quotient. So, let's have an example. For our example 3, we are asked to convert one-thirds to decimal form. So, we will uh, do the same process as examples 1 and 2. So, yung ating 3 ang magiging divisor at yung 1 ang ating magiging dividend. So, 1 divides 3 is cannot be or 0. Kaya magiging 10 divides 3 is 3. Then, 3 times 3 is 9. Then, we need to subtract. 10 minus 9 is 1. Then, bring down 0. So, 10 divides 3 is 3. Then, minus 9 is 1. So, magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng remainder. And, continuous siya. Kaya naman, naglagay na lang ako doon ng ellipses. So, 0 point 33 tapos tatlong dots. Ibig sabihin, meron pa siyang kasunod. Because, sa pagde-divide, nire-required yung uh, two decimal places. No? So, therefore, one-third equals to 0 0.33. Then, naglagay ako ng tatlong dots. Ibig sabihin ay infinitely many numbers yung kasunod. Okay, so let's have the last example. For example 4, convert 5 thirds to decimal form. Again, 3 will be our divisor and 5 will be our dividend. Then, let's start dividing. 5 divides 3 is 1. Then, 1 times 3 is 3. Then, we need to subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then, we add 2 zeros after the decimal point. Then, bring down 0. 20 divides 3 is 6. Then, we need to multiply. 6 times 3 is 18. Then, subtract. That is 2. Bring down 0. Then, 20 divides 3 is 6. Then, 18 then subtract. Then, meron pa rin siya ang remainder, kaya nag-add na lang ulit ako ng tatlong dots. So, therefore, 5 thirds equals to 1.66 then ellipses. So, na-compare nyo yung answers natin or yung ating quotients from examples 1 to 2 and examples 3 and 4. Because fractions in examples 3 and 4 are examples of non-terminating decimals. Remember, repeatant is the digit that repeats itself. So, ano yung gagawin natin kapag ang sagot ay nauulit? <clears throat> a, a bar or a vinculum is placed over a repeated, repeated example. Yung 22 over 3, ang sagot niya ay 7.3333. Kaya naman ang naging sagot ay 7.3 na naglagay tayo ng bar sa taas. Katulad ng answer natin kanina na 0. 3.3, pwede tayong maglagay ng bar sa taas or yung ating 1.66, pwede tayong maglagay ng bar sa taas. So, yun yung non-terminating repeating decimals kasi nauulit yung ating sagot. So, instead of writing all the digits, so mag-stop na tayo by writing yung bar sa taas. Meron din tayong tinatawag na non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. Ito naman yung continuous endlessly with no group of digits re repeating. One of the best examples is yung ating pi wherein the values is 3.141592 and so on. Wherein, dito ay pwede siyang ma-continuous infinitely pero hindi na ulit yung numbers or yung digits or wala siyang pattern na sinusunod. So, that's the end of our lesson regarding converting fractions to decimals. So, I hope that you'll learn something from me. So, you can, uh, you would be able to uh, differentiate terminating and non-terminating decimals. So, it's your time to get your uh, notebook to answer our practice test. You need to convert each fraction into decimal. Then, identify whether A, terminating or B, non-terminating decimal. Write only the letter of the correct answer. So, good luck and God bless you.
So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.